If you struggle with puffy eyes and a puffy face in the morning, like I do. Well, I got five different ways to help you depuff, increase circulation, and decrease inflammation. I'm Julie Bauer Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind PaleoMG. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share my favorite food, fitness, and wellness tips to help you live your best damn less puffy life. At this point, I am over six months pregnant. We see light at the end of the tunnel. It's almost over. I almost have a little baby in my arms. You know, that's a whole nother thing, but to not be pregnant anymore sounds great because one of the many things I've dealt with during pregnancy is puffiness. That has to do with all kinds of different things. Hormonal changes, it has to do with the lack of sleep because I've had insomnia almost my entire pregnancy. I don't think I've slept an entire night through this entire pregnancy, all six months. It's a crapshoot. And because of all this, I wake up most of the time with puffy eyes and a puffy face. I'm just a quick blowfish every single morning. So I found all kinds of different ways to help my skin calm down, the fluids move, so they can go into lymphatic drainage and I can depuff. And I wanted to share those with you today. So our bodies have so much extra fluid during pregnancy. We have extra fluid, we have extra blood. I mean, the fluid is crazy. The mucus I have going on during pregnancy is insane. I clear my throat at least two times a minute, every single minute of every single day until I'm asleep. I constantly have to clear my throat. So not only do we have extra fluid, we have a liter extra of blood, and all of this is helping soften everything up so we can pop a child out at some point. Oftentimes you see this swelling in the third trimester. That's when it really gets the worst for people. That's when you start seeing that edema in people's feet. Well, my swelling has been the worst actually in the second trimester. I was so swollen, you guys. My crotch was so swollen. Nobody tells you that you get a swollen crotch just halfway through pregnancy. And that's probably because every pregnancy is so freaking different. But I had a swollen crotch, I had swollen ankles, I had swollen everything. Now, luckily it's calmed down and most of the swelling is just in my face when I wake up in the morning, but I can calm it down pretty quickly with these five depuffing techniques. Let's get into it. Here I am, all fresh faced and bushy tailed whatever that means. Now I wanna show you the five ways that I have de-puffed my face in the morning and I turned to all of these. Now, first on the list, these are Shishido, Shishido, Wrinkle Resist 24 Pure Retinol Express Soothing Eye Mask. Now, these are definitely expensive compared to other eye patches, eye masks out there. But I truly think that these work best. I've tried a bunch of different eye patches, eye masks, and they never seem to work. Every time I put these on, I see a difference in my eyes. Not only do the bags or the puffiness reduce, but I swear it improves wrinkles. These things are legit and worth the money. So all I do after I wash my face in the morning, I put these little gems on and everybody wears them different. Is there a real way to wear them? I don't know. I do the small by my eye, bring it up, other side. Oh yeah. Just nice and cooling on contact. This feels so good in the mornings when you just need a refresh after you have slept terrible the night before because you know, your child's just kicking you in the ribs. <laughs> so I'll put these on and you leave them on for about 15 minutes. So these eye masks have pure retinol micro infusion inside of them. And so it's going to give you immediate anti-wrinkle benefits. Woo, love it. Plus it has other ingredients in it that are going to help with reducing the signs of wrinkles and little fine lines. Yes, please, okay, pull it on up. Okay, now these worth the money, 100%, I think they're worth the money. Step two, now after I'm just hanging out with these on, I'll sit on the couch, just sip my decaf coffee, enjoy my life in the mornings. Then I like to use a jade roller. Now I feel like everybody knows about a jade roller. So jade rollers have been used in ancient Chinese remedies or medicine for a long time. It's going to help depuff, increase circulation, and decrease inflammation. Yes, please. Now, this thing great, 
because it pretty much stays cool on your face, but do this, pop it in your freezer, keep it in your freezer, and then it's super cold to start driving that extra chilliness to reduce inflammation even more. So I keep this in my freezer and then I use it in the mornings right near my eyes or anywhere else that's puffy. You'll always want to come up and away from the face. Think about lifting, okay, lifting. So we come up, we come up, but then I like to use it here and I use this little one right on the hoods of my eyes here because they're getting a little more hooded as they age. So I'm coming up, oh, it feels so good. So fluid tends to accumulate in the soft tissues of the face, so often in the under eyes. And this can get worse with allergies, with hormonal changes, with all kinds of different things that cause even more fluid to accumulate there. So the Jade Roller is going to help move that fluid into the lymphatic drainage system, and so you can get rid of it. Move it through, move it out of the face. So just use it here, use it everywhere, wherever you're puffy, but I just love under the under eyes the most. See if I can get, you know, just a couple months younger than I look now. <laughs> and it feels so good, especially in the hot summer months. Okay, I got you two so far. These eye masks that are amazing. We got the Jade Roller. Now something that's a little bit similar. I'll give you some pros and cons to it. They are Skin Gym Cryo Balls. We got some cryo balls. So these stay in my freezer at all times. They're always ready for me. And what I love is that I can do two at a time. And so, ooh, it's about to pull off my eye mask. Uh, no, I paid a lot of money for this. So I love these because you got two at a time because oftentimes when you're using the jade roller on one side, well, it's not as cold once you get to the other side. Here you can use both at the same time. This is gonna be the same thing it's going to give you that cool touch just like the Jade Roller did. It's nice and cold. It's gonna reduce inflammation. It's going to get that lymphatic drainage as you move the cryo balls, <laughs> fun name, the cryo balls all over your face. And we're just gonna calm that skin down, calm that fluid down. Oh, you can just do this. Oh my God. <sighs> that is beautiful. So we'll come up and away from the face. It feels so good. The only thing I don't like about these is that the little handles are freezing cold. So if you're sitting cold in your house, maybe it's winter, who knows what's going on in your life. Nobody wants to have cold hands. So sometimes I'll bunch up my sweatshirt and hold on to these to keep my hands cool. Yes, you could absolutely do this with ice cubes. The only thing that I don't love with ice cubes is they start to drip immediately. And so it's dripping all over your face. So you have to hold a paper towel or a towel underneath you. I don't love that. You're not gonna get any drip with these and they just feel so good. Would I recommend them? Yes. Do you need to protect your hands a little bit? Yes. But you can just do this as you enter your day and say, okay, I got this. Okay, sadly, let's take these guys off. You'll be missed. Okay, oh, love you. Just rub all that, oh, all that stuff in there. Anti-wrinkle me. Next up, I have the Charlotte Tilbury, did you say Tilbury? Cryo recovery mask. I did it, I did it. Charlotte Tilbury cryo recovery mask. So I tried a couple different freezer masks and they were terrible and I hated them. This is pretty good. I don't think it's perfect, but it's pretty good. And I think it's worth the money, especially if you have swelling kind of all throughout the face. So this is what it looks like. Let's, wait, let's unattach everything. Here, here's what we got. Oh my gosh, the straps work well. So we got the face and then we got the double chin, okay? a little double chin action, which I definitely need right now. So you're gonna throw this in your freezer about 30 minutes before you wanna put it on and it's gonna be cold. Okay, let's get this headband needs to come on. Get the hair out of the way. Now this mask is gonna have these little beads that freeze. You can see those little beads in there. And then it has these acupressure points 
to help with circulation and blood flow. Now, the only problem so far I've experienced from these acupressure points is one is in the middle of your forehead. So it's gonna press on there. So if you wanna go somewhere immediately afterwards where you're gonna have a couple dots on your face as your face calms down. So that's my only complaint with it. It's like, eh, you know, I'd rather not have those but I love the freezer part. Now, after you freeze it for 30 minutes, you only have to wear it for 10 minutes. So you can just go about your day, drinking your coffee, typing up on your computer, laying in bed, enjoying your life. I don't know what you like to do. I want you to do what's best for you. You can buy the mask on its own, or you can buy the cryo recovery eye serum. Of course I had to try that. It has things like caffeine in it. Ew, and a dog hair. I didn't have a dog, where'd that come from? So we'll have this eye serum that you'll put on before. It comes with this little metal applicator. So it's instantly cooling, which is great. And it has ingredients like caffeine, which are gonna help wake up the eyes a little bit more as you reduce all that inflammation and work on circulation. Oh my gosh, hairs like to stick to this mask though, be warned. So after it's been in the freezer, then we put it on the face. I like to line up the little beads with my eyebrows, just so hopefully my eyebrows hide it a little bit. Okay, I look amazing, oh my God. Oh my God, I love it. Now, this other one wraps underneath, okay, and above the head. Look at that. Have you ever seen a cuter face. So it's gonna give you cooling underneath in the double chin area. We got cooling here, we got cooling here and here. So I'm gonna keep this on for 10 minutes and then on with my day. You unstrap, where do I unstrap? Okay, unstrap. I don't know if you can see the dots yet already, but either way, it feels great. It stays tight on your face and that's what you want. Something I haven't experienced with other masks is they don't really stay tight. And this gives you nice cold beads straight to your face. It feels very cold at the beginning. And Charlotte Tilbury has all these stats on their website where it's going to lift your skin by 253%. I don't know if mine looks that much younger, but those stats sound great. The biggest seller for me was eyes look 56% less puffy. If I can get them 56% less puffy, I am down. Would I recommend this mask? Yes, I think you'll use it enough times to get your money's worth. I don't know if the eye serum is worth it. I don't know. I still haven't tested the mask without using the eye serum. I just thought, why not? If you got some caffeine in there, why not wake up the skin even more? Now I have the cheapest option. Are you ready for this one? I learned this from one of my favorite style, makeup, skincare influencers out there. Her name's Courtney Kerr and her Instagram is currently K-E-R-R, -R, currently that way, okay? Get it, Courtney Kerr, love her Instagram handle. Now she does this whenever she's puffy and she has amazing skin. She does all the different things. She tries everything and shares it all with her followers. All she does is she gets a bowl full of ice and she sticks her face in it, okay? So you gotta make sure you have a bowl that is big enough your face will fit in it <laughs> because you know that defeats the purpose if you can't dive deep. Then all I did was put ice in it. We have uh, quite the large chunk that Okay, needs to be broken up a bit. And then I added water. Okay, you know how to make ice water. You, you get this. Now we just put our face in it. You just put your face in it, hold it in there, do it a few times, and the inflammation will drastically drop down. Think about all the people out there who are competing in different sports and they're always sitting in ice baths. Well, obviously they're trying to reduce inflammation to that injured site. And I like to think that these things are pretty injured when I've slept one hour, you know, in the past five nights. <laughs> Pregnancy is so fun. So all you gotta do is dip your face in. You ready? She's ready for her ice bath. Here we go. Should have brought a towel over. Oh, 
Oh man. Ugh. Really wishing I uh, brought a towel, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. Is this option my favorite? No, it's not fun by any means, but it works. It works real quick. So I would try to do five dips of 10 seconds. Try, okay, try. If you're a rock star, fantastic. If you do ice baths all the time, this will be like nothing. Let's do one more dip. Okay, one more. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh. Great vacation one. You're not gonna wanna take all this stuff on vacation, right? But you're gonna have ice, you're gonna have water. That's super easy. Okay, I need to find a towel. Well, do I look 10 years younger? I mean, I just reduced inflammation in five different ways. I must look like a 23 year old. I'm gonna go with yes. Hopefully some of these options gave you incredibly affordable options versus the little bit more expensive options. I just wanted to give you options because if you're anything like me and you're puffing up like a little balloon during pregnancy, I want you to be ready to go and feeling your best every single day. You know, it's the small wins during pregnancy. And now if you found this video helpful, give it a little like, come on, just right there. Just give it a little like and don't forget to subscribe too. Cause then I'm gonna have, you know, ways to grow your hair in five minutes soon. That's a lie, I won't have that. But I'll have other videos that I think you're gonna like. So you wanna make sure you're subscribed and ready to go. Now, before you leave, you gotta head down to the comment section because I wanna learn from you. What are your favorite ways to depuff? How are you depuffing these days? <laughs> are you getting a lymphatic drainage massage on a regular basis? Genius. Do you take ice baths on a regular basis like a crazy person? Do you just haul bags of ice up to your bathtub and just chill there some days? I wanna learn from you because I know there's a bunch of different ways out there that I don't even know of yet. Teach me your ways. I am your student. Anywho, I'm Julie Bauer Roth of Paleo MG. Thank you so much for stopping by today. And don't forget to stay tuned for a couple other videos I think you're gonna like.